Hello everyone, welcome back to bewegendearchitektur.com uh, with the third tutorial of this small series. We're going to check out phenotype and its capability of doing gen genetic mutation of architectural structures. Um, so let's reset in order to uh, delete the existing um, uh, stress analysis, if there is any. Uh, we're also going to delete uh, the default, uh, this uh, simple deform uh, modifier and let's uh, check out the idea of this genetic mutation. So first of all, this is a, 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 a concept in a very, very early uh, stage here. So uh, please be aware that, this, that there are also weird results, but weird results can also be very cool. What is the idea here? So. Um, the idea is that we use this uh, possibility of shape keys in Blender in order to create uh, variations of the same shape. So let's keep it very simple. We're going to stick to this uh, beam structure. We're going to set a new shape keys called the basis uh, that is somehow only representing this uh, mesh in its, in its initial state, let's call it like this. If we add another shape key, then we can go to the edit mode and we can uh, change this uh, mesh. Um, let's do this with uh, proportional editing enabled. So if we go here to proportional editing, the shortcut is uh, key O by the way. And if we press the G and the set key in order to grab the structure in a set direction. We can scroll the mouse wheel in order to influence all the other points next to the point that we have selected. So here we can maybe select two points in order to make it make it symmetric and let's do a simple arc structure. So this is going to be the first shape key. So when we go to the values uh, tab and if we're going to increase this shape key we can morph the structure from basis to key one. In my opinion, this is a really strong feature for architectural design um, because you, uh, or at least uh, me, I'm working a lot with different variations of the same uh, shape and here you can blend them uh, smoothly together. So in my opinion, that's a very strong feature. You can add <coughs> multiple of these shape keys. So for example, another one could be that we are uh, turning this structure. A third one could be, for example, that we, uh, for structural purposes, this could be very good feature that we are somehow creating more like an arc. Maybe something like this. And maybe add another one that is working like a rope or something like this. And now we have a set of <coughs> four shape keys. So please be aware that basis is uh, excluded from uh, the genetic mutation. So basis is, uh, yeah, basis ex is excluded. So you cannot change the basis uh, to another value. So only these four keys are uh, used in what we're going to do next. So, like in the other videos, we're going to set structure. We're going to um, define four points in order to work as a support. And let's check this out. So, genetic mutation, what we have here is size of population. So, we're going to start out with an initial population of 20 members. We have a size of elitism for the genetic algorithm so this means that the fittest uh, two of the uh, of every generation are going to the next one and what the uh, algorithm is doing you can see when you click start so i'm opening up uh, the terminal here that you can see what he's doing so in this first step he is creating an initial population with random sets of uh, shape keys so, so he's simply setting the shape key to 8432, whatever it is, and then the next generation 
it's going to take the fittest two of the older population it's going to pair the best uh, individuals from the uh, from 50% of the whole population and it's going to make a new population and it's ending up with um, a result whatever if this is the best shape you can came up with I don't know it's uh, quite open the idea is to start out a new a series of projects uh, on my own in this uh, field and this tool is uh, somehow um, yeah I have created this tool for for my own project but I would like to also participate in this work so if you can use it in your architectural progress if you want to participate in this library please feel free to contact me the idea is to make better architecture for all of us and the idea is to uh, bring the ideas of nature or these concepts in nature that are working very well like for example this uh, genetic mutation into architecture just to sum up the next uh, steps so right now phenotype is working as a uh, finite elements method and blender uh, also for moving structures and there is uh, this first approach of genetic mutation um, the idea is to bring uh, also um, more architectural uh, fitness functions into this genetic mutation for example the volume that is created uh, the light and how it is um, uh, uh, going through the structure uh, how much uh, area is created and stuff like that and um, yeah that's all going to be the next steps Looking forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching and see you next time at bewegendearchitektur.com.